So I have a loud signal in here. <laughs> what do you reckon, mate? Uh, uh. Sometimes what you fear is the very thing that will set you free. Good morning or good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the channel if you are new to it. My name is Paulie, your weird host. Today is going to be a fun day because we will be looking for gold, doing gold panning, crevicing, and maybe even some metal detecting. But what's actually more exciting is we have Chris here from Vogus Prospecting. The last time I saw this bloke was in Australia when I flew across the world to see him, and now he's in our territory. How do you feel? I saw a squirrel this morning, so I'm pretty excited. You saw a squirrel, <laughs> but he- First ever squirrel. He hasn't seen a bear yet, but he will. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do to start the day is I'm just gonna start metal detecting the shallow bedrock around here. I found six pieces of gold so far in this area, so I think there's probably gonna be more. And now that we have a Australian with us, um, I think we're just gonna have better luck in general. <laughs> All right, so Chris just ran up to me and he says, uh, <laughs> he found a spoon. It's not my spoon, it's an actual, looks like a sterling silver, a super old spoon. It's 1800s Paulie spoon. It's, it, it's Paulie's grandfather's spoon. It's my grandfather's spoon, apparently. That's really cool. <laughs> That's the second spoon I've seen found along this creek. Now let's see if we can find a fork. <laughs> So I have a loud signal in here. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be gold just because of how loud it is. And I found a piece of wire over there, which was super loud just like this. I filled up my pan full of other targets too. So when we pan this out, we're just gonna hope we're gonna find a bunch of gold, but it's probably just gonna be a bunch of bullets and maybe spoons now, but uh, we'll find out. Let's just pan out our targets and see what we have. So far, just shale and dirt. No gold. Oh, micro dots, but nothing worth keeping. All right, let's keep going. So I have another target. Um, if it's gold, I don't know. But if it's on YouTube, it's probably gold or something else I want to show. But anyway, it's right here. So I believe it's in this corner somewhere. If it is, oh, there we go. Ah, that's what I like. I don't see anything in there. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> a little nugget or a picker. I have a little close up shot of that. Let's pick her up. All right. I'm going to say that's probably a 0.6 of a gram. 60% of a 100% gram. Has some thickness to it. Now to go show Chris. <laughs> what do you reckon, mate? Uh... Yeah, a bit of flower gold, eh? Not yeah. really. Yeah. <laughs> just... Yeah, let's chuck it. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> but it doesn't fit. That's good. So where I found that nugget was right in there. And I imagine one of these days when I'm not being so lazy, I could remove this brick, that brick, and some of this other stuff down here, and then I could follow this trough, and there'd probably be more gold at the very bottom there. But like I said, I am kind of lazy, so I'm just kind of metal detecting the surface stuff. So I haven't found anything else since that last nugget. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, put down the metal detector and just start crevicing. Now there's a crevice up here, which doesn't seem to be too bad. I'm already finding round river rock inside of this little area. So I'm just gonna clean all of this out and hopefully find 50 ounces of nuggets. I didn't bring the uh, sucker tool, so I can't suck any of this out. But that's okay. So first pan out of that spot, we have one little nice piece and a bunch of small flap hoop. So let's keep going. Oh. 
micro poops. Tiny, tiny pieces. So I believe I just found an old rusty something. Looks like maybe an old rusty nail or something. Not really interesting, but uh, something I didn't pick up with the metal detector. Christy Poo called my name over. You find anything? Nothing exciting as a squirrel I saw this morning. Oh. <gasps> it's Ooh. A, a, a nail. A house building tool. Oh, well, that's only like the second bit of metal I've dug up today. That's a good. It's good. That's yeah. It's a good. At least you're finding start. you're finding something. Yes, it'll be a good place to pan. Okay, so that last crevice we were just at, it wasn't very good. Uh, I cleaned out the whole thing and found a little bit of gold, but nothing really worth sticking around for. So we all went back downstream to an area where we were all finding good gold. Now Chris dug out this crevice and found some good gold. And both Brian and I found a nugget just working the bedrock over there. So I think we are going to stick to this general area for the rest of the day. So I just did the next pan right in that little hole and we found a little bit of candy. Not a lot, but hey, let's try to beat it on the next pan. So I did another scoop, did another panorama. Did we beat our last pan? Uh, it's hard to say, but there's still gold here, so we will continue. It appears Chris is digging back down to Australia. Okay, so I just changed spots because I wasn't finding anything else and uh, I have ADHD. This is where I found that nugget earlier today. It was just in this corner pocket right here. So I decided to come back and break up all the shale and we found another piece of surface gold. Not very big, but it's surface gold. So let's just continue breaking all this up and see what else we get. Uh, the stuff is very sharp, but I don't want to wear gloves. Uh, there's my spoon. Yeah, look at all that yumminess. A little bit of gold. So we have a little bit of gold. Not a whole bunch, but uh, <laughs> candy is candy. Let's keep going. So I brought my metal detector out again just to do one last swing, just in case I missed anything. And look who I found hiding right up against the wall. Another little piece of candy. <laughs> I totally would have missed that if I didn't use the metal detector. That's cool. I gotta pick it up somehow with my flat nails yeah a little piece of gold so I feel like this video is kind of random today I mean we're doing some panning some crevicing and then we'll do some detecting and then exploring there's no real rhythm but I guess it doesn't really matter I mean we are all finding gold so that's really good it's kind of cool to see Chris walk around and kind of explore BC for the first time that's that's really fun for me to watch and speaking of Chris let's see what he is doing I'm fighting the earth for its gold. <laughs> I don't know if I'm winning yet. <laughs> Here's the gold that Brian found today, yeah, minus the nugget that he put away. Yeah, Not tea bag. There's gold in them dar hills dar. Chris doesn't find gold in here. He's not coming home. <laughs> no Tim Hortons, no soft warm comfy bed, no 64,000 channels that I don't know what they're about. Here we go. I get to come home. You get to come home. I get to come home today. Yeah. Yeah, fly poop. Yeah. Yeah, but it's my ticket home. <laughs> so Chris just detected a little piece of gold in my overburden pile. That's not too bad. But I don't mind because 
I was only trying to get to the bottom of the- Shut up! Okay, so we're gonna call it a day today. Um, it was actually a really long day, but it's probably gonna feel like a shorter video, and it's already starting to get dark, but yeah, that's okay. So we're gonna go back to the house, look at the gold, and ah, we'll see you there. <laughs> hey, there's something on your lens. Oh, I think I got it. That works. <laughs> so how do you think today went? Today went spectacularly. I saw two squirrels. He saw two squirrels, he didn't get eaten by a bear, and we all found gold. <sighs> so let's weigh it. <laughs> so here's the gold that I found today. Lots of nice bigger pieces. We have one nice nugget that we detected deep in the bedrock, along with some other flakes that we did find. And here's Chris's take for the day. He actually did better than I did, and he actually has a lot of pieces in there, including a piece that he found in my tailings, but we won't get into that. So now we're gonna weigh it, starting with the little nugget. I'm gonna guess five ounces. 0.94, so okay, almost a full gram. That's pretty cool. Now to put on the rest. One point one seven grams, which uh, is almost five ounces. Which is almost five ounces. But now it's Chris's turn, and my gold totals a grand total of nine ounces and fourteen grams, or point seven seven, which is pretty close. So that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please let me know by leaving a like, dislike, comment, or even hitting that subscribe button. I'll be here with Chris for an entire month still, so there's a ton of opportunity for you guys to leave comments and tell us what kind of videos you guys want to see. Also, if you haven't already checked out Chris's YouTube channel, please go check that out too. He was um, a big inspiration to what got my channel where it is today, and I owe a lot to this guy. My channel is all about gold prospecting in the northeast of Victoria, Australia, and we have a huge emphasis on teaching people people just like yourself on how to get out there and find gold for the first time or even if you're an expert. Also both Chris and I have social media so if you guys are interested to see anything else extra behind the scenes stuff bloopers or even hints to see what's coming up in the near future please feel free to check us out on there too. Thank you for watching thank you so much for your support and until the next one I will see you later. If Chris doesn't find gold in here He's not coming home. <laughs>